Let's talk about the word retarded. By today's standards, it's taboo to say. People are afraid of offending others who may have mental disabilities or possibly family members or friends of those who do. The original word in the English language for a mentally retarded person was idiot. The word idiot didn't mean a bad person. It just meant a mentally retarded person. Years later, after folks began using idiot as an insult to belittle others by comparing them to the mentally retarded, the word was considered offensive. Now, before we go on, let's stop there. What was really considered offensive? The word idiot? Or the fact that a, quote, normal person gets offended when compared to the less fortunate? All right, moving on. Years later, the powers that be decided to replace the, quote, offensive word idiot with the non-offensive word retarded, which literally means slow. Problem solved, right? Wrong. The same thing happened all over again. People started using the word they had chosen to describe the mentally handicapped to insult each other. This time, the well-intentioned word retarded became one of our society's most aggravating insults. Suddenly it wasn't even nice to call an actual bona fide retard a retard anymore, no matter what the context. So, what did we do? We tried using nicer words in an attempt to erase the negative stigma that idiot and retarded once carried. Words like special, handicapped, disabled, challenged, and on, and on, and on. There was a time when we could use those words. There was a time when you could tell your girlfriend that you thought she was special, and that would be romantic. Not anymore. Every one of those words has taken on the same stigma as idiot, and every word we replace it with will also take on that same stigma. Why? Simple. So-called normal people are freaked out by the mentally retarded. We as a culture don't know how to act around them. Most of us try and ignore them, and they will go away approach. I worked for years in special education programs in the public schools and state mental hospitals of Utah. Sad to say, Utah is kind of notorious for being a dumping ground for the disabled. People from all over the United States bring their children here for one reason or another. Usually, they don't want to be responsible anymore. And I can't say I blame them. Because caring for another human being that can't take care of themselves full-time is hard work. Very hard work. Let me tell you about Sherry. Not a real name. She works every day with a kid named David, and a dozen other kids too. When David came in, he was diagnosed as incapable of speech. He couldn't communicate in any way. In fact, he could barely control his basic motor reflexes. Sherry worked with David for two years, and when I met him, he still couldn't talk, but he could run around and play like most of the other kids. And... He could show his thoughts with pictures. David will probably never go to high school, or be able to speak for that matter, but when I met him he was happy, and that wasn't always the case. If I have anything to say about it, Sherry and the folks like her are going to heaven. Not because they have a tough job, but because they recognize mentally retarded human beings for what they are, real human beings, and they act accordingly. What upsets me is not a particular word or sound like idiot, handicapped, or retarded. It's ignorance. It's when people turn away when they see a sad human condition that makes them feel uncomfortable. I've been guilty of it. Most of us have. So how are we supposed to act around the mentally disabled? I don't know. How are you supposed to act around me? Or around your brother or sister? or around the random guy you meet on the street, or around your own child. Why should it be different?